Over the past couple of years, you'll have noticed these bright orange e-scooters knocking about in Newcastle, and it's claimed that they're safe, convenient, and sustainable ways to get around the city and a, and a great alternative to using your car. On the flip side, they can be an absolute nuisance in the wrong hands where idiots are flying around causing a danger to other road users but also when they're just left discarded in the middle of the pavement. So in this video I'm going to try one out and ask the question are these the bees knees and the future for Newcastle or do we need to get rid of them? It's coming up. Welcome back, it's Eddie here from Tyneside Life. I cover the history, culture and the football of Geordie Land. So, in order to find out a little bit more about these scooters, I need to try one. But from the outset, I need to let you know that neither New Run, the company that makes these scooters, or Newcastle City Council know that I'm doing this particular video. So the views I'm going to express after trying it out are completely my own. Completely my own. But before I jump on it and try it out, uh, we need to know a little bit more about the scooter how it works, how it operates, why they're here, and everything you need to know about its use. So let's take a look. Neuron Mobility was founded in Singapore in 2016, and they currently operate in Asia, Australia, New Zealand, the UK, and Canada. The company claim a commitment to safety, which includes GPS tracking and geofencing that automatically slow the scooter down in the slow zones, marked in yellow on the app map, and to stop in no riding zones, marked in grey. They cost £1 to unlock and it's 18 pence per minute of its use. Passes can also be bought for three day, weekly or monthly durations from the app. The helmet is also unlocked via the app. They have two gears and are limited to 15 mile an hour and will automatically slow down to 10 mile an hour in slow zones. 250 e-scooters have now been on trial in Newcastle since February 2021 and this is due to end in May 2024 before deciding if they'll be permanently legalised. They're available to hire all over the city which can be seen on the map and can be unlocked once you've registered your details on the app which includes your name, date of birth and driving licence number. This means that you need to be 18 or over and if someone is found to be riding in an antisocial or dangerous way the rider can be identified and prosecuted even if they run off and only one person is allowed on a scooter at any one time. The city has around 100 designated parking areas, but scooters can be located from the app, and if you park it at a designated parking area, you'll receive a 30 pence discount on your next ride. As of February this year, Cormac Quinn, the UK General Manager at Neuron Mobility, said the scooters had become an important part of the city transport mix, with riders having travelled more than 900,000 miles and revenue generated to around 9 million. 97% of users describe them as having a positive impact. 40% of trips have replaced a car journey, saving 103 tonnes of CO2 emissions to date. Not everyone is happy with the use of these scooters, however, as they can be ridden in antisocial ways or dangerously, and dumping across the pavement is a problem and can cause hazards to pedestrians, especially those with disabilities or sight difficulties. Anyway, let's jump on a scooter.
um, finished. So start to finish, I was on it for about 35 minutes. So when you first scan it and it wants your money off you and you update your payment method, it takes six pound off you. And the, the agreement is that if you go over the six pound, it'll just continue to take 18 pence a minute. If it's under the six pound, it reimburse you back to your bank. That'll probably take a few working days. So I was out for yeah, 35 minutes. It cost about seven pound 50, uh, which is really quite reasonable. You know, if you're just gonna go from say the Quayside up to somewhere near St. James's Park, probably a mile or so, you know, it's only gonna cost you, I don't know, probably just less than two pound. So really handy, I was really impressed with that. Um, dead easy to use, you just have to kind of, like a scooter, push it to get the momentum and then there's a lever on the right hand side that you press down and off it goes. So there's two gears, um, a fast arm mode and a slow arm mode, which is operated by just pressing a button there on the left. But I felt quite safe and Helen felt quite safe. So I think, do I think they're a good idea for the city or not? I think, I think they bring far more positives to a city centre than the negatives, like I mentioned earlier about nuisance riding being discarded in the middle of the street. Yeah, that's something that might ease off over time as the city gets used to them. But in terms of, uh, you know, it's sustainability, um, safety, I think a really good idea. Um, and if it's helping to reduce congestion and traffic flow through a city centre, if it's helping re to reduce carbon emissions into the atmosphere, um, that can all be a good thing. So overall, I think they're an excellent idea and they're just damn good fun. You know, I had a good laugh, really, really enjoyed it. So anyway, let us know what you think of these scooters. If you've had a, a try of them, what's your experience of them? I'd love to hear about uh, what you think as well. But if you like the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll catch you later.